train day. It's train day at the toy car collector. Trains are something that I collect a bit. And um, I'm not like a train guy. I'm kind of a train guy. I love trains. And for some reason, I got stuck collecting trains. And when I say stuck, that means that as a collector, if I see something I like, I want to buy it. And then if I buy it and I like it, then I want to get more of them. And then it just never ends until you get to a point where you're drowning in the item that you collect. And at this point, I'm kind of drowning in train cars. But for now, I think this is my last batch of this particular type of train. And what this is, these are, oops, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. All right, thank you. I've got a whole big box of foam. That's pretty cool. Let me get something to put that in. Okay, let's pull these out. It looks like they're all wrapped up nice. So model power metal train. Let's get them out. We've got, I believe, 10 in here. Here's a two pack and here's a one pack and here's a two. We'll get these all out. I'll unwrap them and I'll show you what I got. And then after that, I'll show you how ridiculous my collection of these things is gotten to be at present yes model power and the problem with model power is on the back of every box is a list of all the other models that you may not have and of course as a collector if i may not have them then i must get them so let me get these open and i'll show you what's new all right and the metal box reading freedom 2179 2179 there it is and the reading okay so now we have these lined up by number and of course as a competent collector i've got to have my check sheet my excel spreadsheet your handy dandy spreadsheet will let you know what you need and what you don't need and what you have too many of and what you have some of now look right here i didn't have one of these the 1908 so we're going to put a mark there we'll just add this to the list when we get all done all right yes i uh, gotta make sure i keep this thing focused 2248 2248 2248 all right brown canadian national looks like i have one already so there's two over here we've got 2274 on the cp rail 2274 i don't think i have that one so that would be a new one and here we've got the 2275 alaska 2275 i didn't have that one either so that's cool now let's go get them all out let me look at that that's so pretty isn't that pretty that's why you collect stuff like this because you just find it to be good looking and these basically you can hit these on ebay for about 25 bucks a piece which is uh which is a good deal sometimes less i know i got a bunch of them i don't know what i paid for all of them but you know when you're used to collecting redline hot wheels stuff like this seems cheap because those darn red lines are so expensive. Anyway, let's get all of the metal trains and see how many there are total. All right, I got out all the boxes from my collection of model power metal train. These are the engine boxes. There's a couple in the boxes already. These are my engine boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, six engines. And I believe I have three more that are loose. And then you've got the cabooses like the Alaska, the CP rail, Canadian National. Here's one that's empty. Pensy. Oh, I like the Pensy ones especially. I really like those. BNSF and Santa Fe. Some I have, like this one here, comes in the complete set with the track. And so you'll find some of those loose in my collection. Here we've got some flatbeds in different styles. We got the CNO, we got the Santa Fe, the Canadian National, the Penzi, and the TTX, which stands for something. I'm not even sure what it is yet. And then we've got the Reapers. We've got the White Rock. Here, this one is the Armor Reaper. Got a couple of those. Got the Way of the Zephyr right there. The Way of the Zephyr Burlington Express. That's a real pretty one. I like that one. Metal quad hoppers. Now the quad hoppers I really love. And what are the quad hoppers? If you don't know already, those are the ones that carry coal and things like that. I think it's mostly coal. Anyway, I love the black Pennsylvania ones. And then there's some BNSF that are brown. I love those. I got a bunch of them out. Four or five of them. They just look so cool when they go around my little loop track. Oh, there they go. BNSF. I love these brown ones. I got the Alaska one too, which I think I'm going to keep the Alaska. 
I think I'll keep that along with the caboose. And I need the engine. I do not have the Alaska engine. I do not have that. So we've got some, uh, here's our box cars. We've got the Lindy, we've got the Reading, we've got the CP rail, we've got a Sioux line, the New York Central, and there's the Santa Fe. And then, of course, my favorite, the tankers. I love the black tanker in particular. Got about six or seven of those. They look cool going around in a circle. And then I think all my other tankers, let's see, I've got, uh, let's see, I've got ATNSF tanker somewhere around here, metal tank, and the uh, CP rail metal tank. I've got most of my metal tankers loose, I think. Where did they all go? There's the shell. Oh, yes, there's the shell. Real nice. And the hookers, which are red. Those are cool. I've got some of the loose ones here and there. It's not really well organized right now, but here's like the Pennsylvania engine with the Pennsylvania coal car and the Pennsylvania caboose. Here's the hooker ones. I love those with the red and the black. Those are cool. Shell's not bad. Mobile gas is not bad. Sioux line, the box car, reading, CP rail, and state of Maine, New Haven. That one is a refrigerator truck, isn't it? And there's an armor over there, and there is CP rail. I got two of the black ones, two or three, and the Burlington Northern turquoise. Another Sioux line down there. This is kind of a mess right now. I need to straighten this up. 